If you're looking for a valve around the home or on the construction site, don't hold back. Don't delay. Choose Moore's valves today. Moore's valves, the best valves in the business. Moore's valves. He'll be okay. No, that guy. Can you believe the nerve? Marsha, oh lord, the room is spinning. Here, put your head between your legs. What do you mean, that guy? What about Pop? That's what I'm saying. Oh, my heart, the pulse is racing. You were saying? Pop wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for, what's his name, oregano. Basil, Basil. Who does that? Who just shows up like and that? And on his birthday, no one. Exactly, his birthday. Obviously, his heart couldn't take it. And normal. Oh, look, Brad Pitt, you love him. You know, this was his second heart attack this year. What do you mean? You, you don't think he's gonna make it? No, I didn't say that. That's not oh my God, he planned this. That bastard, he wants to take over the company. Of course he does. He planned the whole thing. He knew that his sudden appearance would give Pop a heart attack, thus knocking his older half-brother out of his inheritance. Then, he would choose to settle in this hotbed of culture, taking over the Midwest preeminent valve company. Yeah, that would be my way. Well, look at him. Obviously, he inherited his mother's hair gene. <laughs> what? I have a lot more hair than him. No, Besides, that is not what I am saying, but I called the site last night and they said that you weren't there. Well, where else could I have been? How is he? What did they say? There's no word yet. <sighs> so do you think it's true? That guy, what's his name? Normal. Basil. Basil. Look, Brad Pitt, you love him. Look, as hard as it is to admit, we are talking about Dad here. I wouldn't be surprised if he had half a dozen or more bastards littered between here and Sydney. <clears throat> or more. Sorry, Mom. Sure you are. Well, Mom, other than you, he always went for cheap and easy. And now one of the pups has sniffed his way home. It takes a brave man to insult someone when he knows that they can't hear it. What? You don't think I'll say it to your face? I'd like to see you try. One of his pups sniffed his way home. Damn, boys. I ought to punch you for what you did to Pop today. And what's stopping you? I'm not the violent. Oh, oh my god, I'm Eddie. It's not my fault that you can't keep a leash on your man. Marsha, come on, leave her alone. Well, at least I have a man. What? Oh, Jesus. Edward, I mean, you've been licking Pop's shoes for so long, I think that you're starting to like it. So I see Pop had bitches as well as a bastard. Shut up! Hail Mary for the grace. Nobody know where exactly you lot think you are, but this is a hospital. I'll have quiet in here now. I think I'm really hurt. And believe me, if I catch any of you fighting in here, you'll never be able to use it again. Patil. Dr. Patil, how is he? How's his heart? His heart is fine. Oh. He's had a stroke. <gasps>